Today we've got some good news about limited loot returning, next week's skin sale and more. First up, the high noon event is scheduled to go live around March 20th with patch 14.6. These are some of the event assets. There will be a capsule tracker for Peacemaker High Noon Yone alongside this event. This gacha tracker is similar to other ones. The high noon hat contains random high noon skins that are epic tier or lower. As for the returning loot, this event will see the return of 13 exclusive high noon event chromas data mined by Julex. It could be worth getting some of these for your mains, we might not get another high noon rerun for a very long time. They will cost 300 tokens each and come with icons. There's also these four high noon event chromas for Rao, Gragas, Evelyn and Yone. And Julex also found, hold up what's this, never mind. He mentions that there could be an exclusive ward and Ash and Darius emotes returning, but only the chromas are confirmed at this stage. These are the three pass emotes, we don't have info about the full pass yet and don't know if they've nerfed it again or reverted the missing grab bag. I'm guessing they'll give people a crack sample of one capsule again. Skin Spotlight's posted a bunch of icon and emote assets added to the PvE. Some of it's for TFT and there's an April Fool's icon. And there's also a bunch of high noon pass bundle assets. Moving on to drops, there haven't been any chest drops this weekend so it's only eSport capsules at this stage until there's an update or some proof showing otherwise. Both the LEC and LCS seem to be dropping a few capsules each day. Next up, Skins of League has leaked next week's skin sale with Ink Shadow Volibear, Winter Bless Zoe, Spirit Blossom Soraka, Elderwood Rek'Sai, Dawnbringer Morgana, Crystal Rose Swain, Spirit Blossom Yone, Papercraft Nunu and Willem, Firecracker Jinx, Elderwood Bard, Death Blossom Elise, Mortai Lee Sin, Groovy Zillion, King Trindamir, and Woad Ash. Thanks for watching, see you next time.